Do you guys ever wonder why us Chase Elliott fans are always are sometimes toxic? Because Chase Elliott cannot catch a break. He gets fucked over every fucking time. Fucking hell. Holy shit. What's the concept of the fact that Chase Elliott can't catch a break, huh? After getting shat on last Wednesday, we get the lead late in the Coke 600 only to, to have a caution come out with three to go, pit from the lead, and hand the win to Keselowski. Fuck off. Yeah, you ever want... You folks out there, you ever wonder why us Chase Elliott fans are toxic? It's because Chase Elliott keeps... Because... Fuck. It's because we're tired of Chase Elliott getting fucked over every fucking year. Seems like no matter what we do, cannot catch a break, we get fucked over every fucking year. I hope this is the only time that... You'll ever hear me rage on this channel. Good fucking lord. And guys, let me make one thing clear. Kozlowski did not win that race on Talon. He won that win was handed to him just like Logano at fucking Vegas. Good fucking lord. Hey, at least Truex didn't win this race. Thank God. Same thing with Kyle Busch and Logano, at least. So, besides, I hate. I'm neutral at Kozlowski, at least. Good lord. I think after a, a nearly 70 minute rain delay, some good racing, the Hendrick cars are all up in the top six, thinking that we're going to have a good. And Chase Elliott's in the lead. I think we're going to run away with it. But of course, of course, his teammate, William Byron, of course, has to blow a tire. I'm like, how did Byron? I'm like, <clears throat> shit. Is Ch I'm like, is Chase Elliott cursed or something? Because I have no idea. And... I know you can't hear the phone, but the, but my Twitter's, go, but Twitter's going off. Hey, at least Chase Elliott got a top three, but man, we should have, we fucking had the shit. If that had been someone like Logano or Kyle Busch, I would have been really pissed. But I can't scream at the top of my lungs because my parents are home, of course, because it's past 9.30. Well, this is one of the many L's that big L's that Chase Elliott's gonna take. And that's one of my picks. Had a shot to win, but of course, of course, get fucked over. Now, I know William Byron didn't intentionally spin out, okay? But still, though, I'm like, you know what? This has happened to Chase Elliott back in 2016. Remember Chicagoland? Chase Elliott was on his way to his first win back in 2016. And of course, Michael McDowell had to blow a tire or have a tire go down. Chase Elliott pitted and Truex won. You guys remember that Chicagoland race in 2016? Because I remember it. It's, it's kind of similar to what happened tonight. Good Lord. I'm a Chase Elliott fan. We're sick. Us Chase Elliott. Elliot fans, we're sick and tired of Chase Elliott getting screwed over every effing week. I almost felt like breaking down there. And I know lots of my Twitter followers are Chase Elliott fans. I can understand their frustrations. Can't really blame them. So, yeah. I mean, I'm glad we got a podium finish, but dude... Well, hey guys, just know Kislowski could fail inspection. Just keep that in mind, people. 
And also remember that paint scheme preview I was talking about? I'll just upload tomorrow because I'm not in a good mood, okay, guys? At least the racing was a little decent, so yeah. I don't know what else to say. You know what? But hey, on the bright side, at least we have a second time around to get the win at least. So yeah. And firing Alan Gustafson will not solve the problem either. That Firing Alan Gustafson will only make things worse. That would have been the worst thing to do. So yeah. But on the bright side, at least Jimmy Johnson got a top five. You Johnson fans should be grateful that he got a top five. It's better than finishing mid-pack or wreck and, and all that. So you should be grateful about that. Fuck. The race itself, it was it was okay. Um let's see. Um so What's his name? Led the field to the green. Oh my gosh, I can't remember his name. Yeah, I'm bad on names. I'm really sorry, but I'm not perfect. Kurt Busch, yes. Kurt Busch was on the pole. And Jimmy Johnson, of course, started second. Um, Kurt Busch led the first 50-plus laps. Um, Jimmy Johnson was up there for a little bit. Um, Bowman was up there um competition caution flew on lap 20 what else um we go back racing um caution comes out on lap 51 for rain and then they ultimately red flag it of course um kurt bush still in the lead then afterwards it was pretty much the alex bowman show throughout most of the entire race um strategy was really interesting um the rcr guys both had the rcr drivers had a good night tonight um dylan was running in the top five for some of this race well for most of this race actually reddick was flirting with the top five top ten jimmy johnson um he was running up there up until the point where he got loose and fell out of the top ten he eventually worked his way back up got stage points in those last two um stages i think so and then towards the end of stage one um clint boyer had something break on his car which fucking sucks especially after the heartbreak last um wednesday he finishes last and that's where he's ultimately gonna start on wednesday bubba wallace um had a hub break he Managed, they tried to fix it, but that was, it didn't really do much because, yeah. Yeah, Bubble Wall's got DNF, unfortunately. Yaley, but Yaley doesn't matter because Yaley hasn't done shit in his career. That top five in this race 13 years ago doesn't was good, but not much. So, yeah. By the way, race reaction will premiere, I guess, after this race. So, yeah, I don't know what to fucking say. Matt Kenseth um, was running up there in the top five. Top Was fl flirting around there up until later on the race when he... Oh, Ma... Sorry, guys. My mom's trying to... Sorry about that. Yeah. I am feeling a little hungry, so yeah. Thanks, Mom. Anyways. Yeah, my mom wanted to hand me some... Hand me some... Some 
thing to eat. So, yeah. Yeah. Thanks again, Mom. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Yeah, Kansas was having a good run up until later on, late in the race when he had that... When he had that tire or something or whatever um, broke on his car and he hit the wall. He did finish the race, so... Yeah. Yeah, oh, forgot to mention, Bowman won the first two stages. Um, did he win? No. Yeah, Logano won stage three. I'm um, thinking we're going to sweep all stages, but hey, who cares? Oh, by the way, happy birthday to Joey Logano, by the way, if you're watching this. So, yeah. The racing on the restarts was pretty interesting. And also on the restart, if you're going to push someone, you need to push harder. And also on that last restart, I don't know why the Blaney didn't, Kizowski didn't line up with Blaney. He could have gotten the push and um, what's his name could have gotten the push there. So I don't know what was up with that, but whatever. Ryan Newman had battery issues. Denny Hamlin... I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I'm going to mention again. Denny Hamlin had a ballast break off before the race started, and his night, his race was pretty much over almost instantly. He did finish the race, but he finished eight laps down, so yeah. Then Joey Gase had a spin late and all that. Yeah, stage two, I think, went, went caution-free, I think. Yeah, I think stage two went caution-free. Ugh, Jesus. It's just fucking depressed right now. So, yeah. I I don't know what the else to say. Um, Yeah, once, once Trix got around Bowman about past halfway in the race, um, it was pretty much over for Bowman. He couldn't get back to the lead. But at least there was Chase Elliott. Jimmy Johnson was starting to slowly work his way up there. What else? Yeah, a lot happened in this race. Um, the that moment of silence thing at the halfway point was was pretty cool. So that that's nice. Sorry if I miss anything, but I'm not perfect. Um, Logano got a penalty on one of those last two um couple of cautions, I believe. Try and adjust the camera. I don't know what else to say. Yep. And I thought they were going to wreck on that first restart, but oh well. But anyways, sorry if I'm going from all over the place, but I don't know why. Anyways. So yeah, Chase Elliott, he grabbed the lead from Kieslowski at like about 40 to go. Chase Elliott, um, the lead was closing, shrinking and opening, but eventually got bigger. Chase Elliott, I thought he was on his way to a win. And just when I thought he had it, of course, Byron blows a tire. Chase Elliott pits and gets fucked out of the win, just like what happened to Blaney at Las Vegas. And basically handed the win to... Kozlowski, just like Blaney, had the win to, ironically, his teammate. My mouth is... Did I forget to mention my mouth is dry, too? So, yeah. It's, it's kind of mad. Can't blame me. So, yeah. Yeah, Chase Elliott pitted. I didn't... I don't remember how far he fell back, but um, where he restarted, I mean. But he started back a few spots back. And of course, the restart happened. 
I'm like Kislowski, I was I was thinking Kislowski would choose the outside lane because his teammates were right behind him, and I was thinking they would push, because that would allow um what's his name Johnson to be on the bottom with who is it Bowman, and I thought they would push. For the second Charlotte race, can we work a little bit more on that? And I know a penalty for Hamlin is incoming. But anyways, to have final restart, there were some cars that got way wide. But Kozlowski, he was, you could tell that Kozlowski was trying to break the draft. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Eric Jones was up there. Kurt Busch started to work his way towards the back. Kyle Busch went from mediocre to running up in the top 10 and all that. So, yeah. What else? Yeah, so get to the white fly. And because of the aero package, it's kind of difficult for the second place driver to to catch the leader because clean air is God, I guess. I'm glad Trix didn't win this race because he's won too many of this. And geez, I mean, I don't hate Trix, but I'm like, I want someone else other than Truex to win. Jesus. And of course, Kozlowski manages to hold off Jimmy Johnson and win the Coca-Cola 600. I mean, I, I know I knew Kozlowski was going to win this race at some point in his career, but still, that was painful for us Chase Elliott fans. At least, like I said, Jimmy Johnson got second. It's far better from what happened from his last two results at Darlington. At least, you Johnson fans, once again, should be grateful that Jimmy Johnson got top five. At least Chase Elliott got third. Ryan Blaney was running up there. He had a good night. Um, Kurt Busch and Tyler Reddick got, both got top 10. And how about Christopher Bell at top 10 too? So great. It takes a lot of effort to get, to get those type of results. I have to look at the results after this thing because, man... Oh, and what was it? I think, what was it? At the beginning of stage three. It, yeah, at the beginning of stage three, Matt De Benedetto got to hold off Truex to lead those first couple of laps in stage three. How about that? It has been so, it's been a while since I've seen Dibby lead some laps. And he actually held off the leader. You know, he's going to get somewhere someday if he... If he puts in a lot of effort into it, took a two tire, did a two tire strategy while everyone else took four tires and managed to hold them off for a couple laps before Truex obviously got the lead. So, yeah. Or was it the other restart? I'm con kind of confused, but hey, I'm not perfect, okay? So, yeah. And, yeah, I have, I have no. I have nothing else to say. At least we got Xfinity tomorrow, trucks on Tuesday, and what was it? Um, the second cup race at Charlotte on Wednesday. Well, at least we have a couple months. At least we have lots of races to go before the playoffs. At least, I just hope. I just hope Johnson and Chase Elliott can learn from this and try and try something better next time. Okay, but man. That's one of the biggest L's Chase Elliott's ever going to take in his entire career. I'll probably get over it by tomorrow, but yeah. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say. Race was going... Thought we had the, the W in the bag, but of course we get fucked out of the win because of a bad pit call and basically handed the win to Lagan. I mean, not, I, I keep on saying Lagan. Brad Keselowski. So, yeah. Not a happy camper right now, but I'll 
get over it. So, yeah, this is my Coca-Cola 600 review right here. So, yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for the Xfinity race, I guess. And with that, have a good night. And also, I forget to mention, happy, Memor happy Memorial Day to all the veterans and those out there who gave the ultimate sacrifice to our country and all that. So, yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Oh, and reactions coming up shortly after this. All right. Bye, everyone.